Okay, this is uh, just kind of a, I think this is a funny story. One of my rants, I guess, but not really, about, oh my, it might be close to 30 years ago. Uh, we lived in Canada. I came home from college or I was already graduated or something. I'm not sure exactly the time frame. But uh, my sister and brother-in-law were getting ready to get on the road to go see my grandmother. We lived in Windsor, Ontario. They were driving to Pennsylvania. And they had an old Ford Torino. And they had one baby, Lenny. She's now 30. Holy cow, something. And uh, my sister wanted to take the little wooden cage that you keep kids in, the playpen they called it, and the, the playpen would not fit in the Torino. I mean, Grandma had a lot of things that my sister didn't want the baby to get into, so it was wise. But uh, my brother-in-law tried to put the, and we both tried to put the baby uh, and the playpen into the Ford Torino trunk, and it didn't fit. And he th said, we can put it in the back seat, but that means we have to put the baby in the trunk which uh, my sister uh, was getting impatient and didn't think was funny at all. But uh, my brother-in-law said, oh, I can fix this, hang on just a minute. And he walks past the car towards the garage and he goes, and my sister says, where are you going? He said, well, I'm gonna get the circular saw. He said, I can just cut the ends off this thing and it'll fit in there like nothing. And my sister was at her wits end <laughs> and she said, you are such an asshole. Now. They'd been married for a while, but I didn't know my brother-in-law that well. And he turned on her, and, I mean, this, the look in his face, I, I thought he was going to kill her. He just, I mean, he was just staring at her, and he walked right up to her. And then he, he put both his fingers out, like, oops, sorry, I dropped my iPad. Uh, he went like this, right, and he starts dancing around, and he starts singing, Sally married an asshole, Sally married an asshole. And he kept it up until she started laughing, because, by, I mean, by the time he got in the second... Sally married an asshole, because that's what she said to him, right? Oh, you are such an asshole. And all he did was turn it and made it into this fun little game, and he finally got her laughing, which it taught me a lot about life, taught me a lot about women, taught me a lot about my brother-in-law, and uh, taught me a lot about men. <laughs> so that's what I pretty much know, that my wife, Nicole, has married an asshole, uh, because we are. If you get a chance, there is a great Broadway flick. I don't know if it's ever been done to video. Uh, called Defending the Caveman, and he, at the end, he says, I'm not an asshole. Uh, I know that I am. Uh, my brother-in-law knows that he is. Uh, we're okay with that. Uh, and so, have a fun day. Just, I thought that that story was worth it. Uh, www.micpeakperformance.com. Love you. Bye.